Hey, what's up you guys? This is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays, and today we're getting a little sticky, investigating exactly what's going on with the dual toxicist buff. When we do it, raw. Okay, so I was honestly about to dig in and script a quick draft for the dual toxicist, but I didn't feel comfortable really chatting about it until I knew exactly what was going on with its buff. Now, here's a bit of a Rob's life lesson. I've been accused of coming off like a big know-it-all, and the reason behind that is I don't open my mouth unless I know what I'm fucking talking about. So if you want to ensure that you're never wrong, don't talk about shit unless you have done copious amounts of research about it. Now, let's get to the aforementioned playtesting. So here is our control subject with no mods in it whatsoever. Today's subject will be a crawler as it has no weaknesses or resistance to puncture, impact, or toxin damage, but does have a 50% bonus to slashing. All of that's kind of moot because I don't really want to do any complex calculations, but I did want to simplify it as much as possible. For consistency, I'll be shooting it in the wrist slash hand area. As you can see, it's doing 73 points of damage without the buff. However, after we activate the buff by getting a headshot, the damage jumps to 143. That's a 70 point increase, which nearly mirrors the 73 points at its base. Now this makes me think that the buff is granting 100% bonus toxin damage. So I toss on Hornet Strike to see. Without the buff, we are getting 235 points of damage. With the buff, we're getting 458 points of damage, which gives us a 223 point damage increase, so closely mirroring the original damage. I think that the only reason for the discrepancy between the two is most likely the large increase of Slash granting a bigger bonus, while the Toxin grants no bonus. So now we know that it's increased by base damage mods, but let's take a look at how additive mods work, starting with elementals. So I've stripped off Hornet Strike and slapped on an electric elemental, and now we're looking at 136 damage without the buff. Interestingly, once we trigger it with a headshot, we're now looking at 206 points of damage. Once I calculated it, it only came to a 70 point increase, just like the unmodded version. This shows that the elemental mods don't seem to have an effect on the bonus toxin damage. Now let's continue with additives, stripping back down and tossing in a puncture mod. Without the buff, we start off with 141 points of damage. After the activation, we see a jump to 210 points of damage. Now this one was a bit odd as the bonus damage actually seemed to drop down to 69. Great number, but the inconsistency drove me nuts. I went ahead and tried it with a different physical damage type and we were back to 70. Again, just like the unmodded version. My current conclusion on this part of the bonus is that it basically acts like you toss on a 100% toxin elemental mod. I went ahead and pulled in an experiment, adding one element and boosted the status to see if that was the case, and interestingly enough, the thing actually started to proc viral, meaning that the equipped element and the bonus element actually combined. Now the only thing left was to test out the fire rate. So since the damage modifier acted like a mod, I assumed that the fire rate would follow suit. However, after a lot of comparison, it seems like the dual toxicist, instead of getting a percentage buff, seems to get a completely different base fire rate entirely. I went ahead and took some comparison shots, and after a bit of digging, with the buff active, its fire rate is very similar to the 2.5 base fire rate of the Tysis. I even went ahead and tossed in some mods and they both performed very similarly. So 100% bonus toxin damage and a 2.5 base attack speed is my current conclusion on the headshot buff. Let me know if you guys caught anything else in your endeavors and as always, stay educated as fuck.